celestial Narayana. He travels the universes singing the glories of Sri Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead. One morning, he visits the king of Dwarka, Lord Sri Krishna. But something was terribly wrong. All the queens are worried. The sun has already risen in the sky. All the brahmanas are waiting to offer their prayers. The kings and ministers are waiting in the assembly hall. What could be wrong? Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, has a severe headache. What? How is that possible? Wasn't something you cooked, Satya Baba? What did you do for our life yesterday? Karindi, Jayavati, when did you go to sleep? Did you go to bed too late? Quickly, quickly, call the best doctors in Dulan. Right away, do not delay. All the doctors were called, but to no avail. Only one medicine will cure Krishna's headache. from the feet of Krishna's pure devotees who will cure his headache. Searching far and wide, Nadi Muni visits the icy Himalayas. The yogis, standing on the tips of their toes, lying on beds of nails, walking in coal and fire, performing severe strategies, doing yoga poses to obtain mastery over the body. The yogis have been meditating for thousands of years. They are trying to reach Krishna by controlling the patterns and senses. So, even meditate on the Lord deeply. Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, has a severe headache. The only cure is a dust of the feet of his pure devotees. Can you please give me the dust of your feet? What? No, no, can I? How 
thousands of years of our studies washed away, we will go to hell. Charity and receiving charity, imparting transcendental knowledge. The pure hearted Brahmanas, dear to Sri Krishna giving charity and receiving charity, imparting transcendental knowledge, cleanliness, truthfulness, humility, offering food to the Supreme Lord and happily accepting that food as prasadam. Dear Chattu Brahmanas, your Supreme Lord Sri Krishna has a severe headache. The only cure is the dust of the feet of his pure devotees. I came here to ask you to please give me the dust of your feet. Vishnu, Vishnu, never! We can never give the dust of our feet to put on our Lord's head. Ha! Ha! After being rejected by many types of devotees, finally visits Vrindavan Dham. Beautiful Vrindavan, magical Vrindavan, with chirping birds, majestic trees, flowers drifting in the air, sprays of nearby waterfalls, every single creature a loving servant of Krishna. But all are missing your beloved Lord, Shri Krishna. Where has he gone? The gopis spend their days thinking of Krishna, their beautiful friend and lover. He has left Vrindavan to become a king in Dwarka. Dear Tulsi, have you seen my Krishna? Look, I think these are Krishna's footprints. He must have gone this way. Remember when Indra sent his clouds of destruction and terrorized us with hail, ice, and pillars of rain as sharp as arrows? But our strong, powerful Krishna, he lifted the whole Govardhan hill on the pinky of his left hand. We got to stay with him all together for one whole week.
Jamba Tree. I know Krishna loves to pick your flowers. Please, tell me, you must know. Where is my Krishna? Here, whisper in my ear. You can tell me if you don't want to tell the other gopis. Come on, tell me, tell me right now. Don't hide him from me. Tell me now. Time. Oh, Krishna was so naughty. Remember? We were bathing in the Yamuna River. How were we to know that he would hide in the tree and snatch all our clothes? Oh, so embarrassing. He stole our clothes, and now what a thief. He has stolen our heart. No, no, stop it. Don't talk to him anymore. Why are we wasting our time? We have given him our hearts. He has no care. Cheater! Liar! Leave him! Forget about him! Just forget about him! Oh, Saki! Don't forget him! Forget your anger! Remember our brave Krishna killed the demonic, evil King Kamsa, who tried so many times to kill our beautiful Krishna. Haven't you heard? All of Mathura was full of praise of our Krishna. Damsels of Vrindavan. I have just come from Dwarka. I have seen Krishna and. What? Krishna? Krishna? Did you say he's not Krishna? How is he? How is he doing? Does he still think of us? What is he doing? Does he still play his flute? Well, we are Krishna. He has a severe headache. The only cure is the dust of the feet of his pure devotees.
The gopis' love for Sri Krishna is so pure and selfless. They gave the dust of their feet easily to cure Krishna's headache. They did not care whether they would suffer millions of years in hell. Krishna's pain was worse than death for them. They would gladly dance to hell if that meant Krishna's suffering would be relieved. Of course, Krishna, as the Supreme Lord, cannot actually get a headache, and certainly the gopis would never go to hell. But Krishna performed his pastime to display the amazing quality of the gopis' pure love for him, something we all need to aspire for in our own spiritual journey back home, back to Godhead. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai.